Hey y'all, how's it growing? Welcome back to my channel. You are watching Everyday Gardening with Erica. And it's been a little while since I've done my last video. There's been a lot going on, especially with the house. So I'll give you an update on that as well. But today is an exciting video because I get to show you how I water my plants. Uh, and also I'm gonna be harvesting all my peppers and even our tomatoes today. So let's jump right in uh, and we'll start with the, the watering video and then we'll get into the harvest. All right. So for the harvest, I have my Friskers shears. This will help me, you know, cut off anything that I need to cut. And then I've got a little colander here. So I don't have a lot of tools right now, given the circumstances, but I think this will be good to collect some of those peppers. Well, all right, so we finished our harvest. Whew, that was a lot of harvesting. And I have a guilty confession. My confession is that sadly, this is actually my third harvest from all of these plants. So I have uh, been enjoying uh, the bell peppers and the shishito peppers and the Korean peppers long before this video um, just you know came up. So I apologize for not sharing my harvest sooner. I probably would have been um, a lot bigger of a harvest in the beginning. But anyway, it is what it is. So let's take a look at what we got, shall we? Well, here we are. This is what we harvested today. Again, this is the third harvest from these plants. They're a little bit smaller than they usually are. But let me show you what we've got here. So we have a California Wonder Bell Pepper. Now the one that I grew, um, the first one I grew was is probably like, let's see, like that much bigger. Um, but it was so delicious. So I know it doesn't look as pretty, but it is definitely, worth it it's so good okay and then these are those rainbow mini snacking bell peppers so they've got like green ones purple ones red ones yellow ones um, I can't say I'm a fan of these honestly because um, they have a lot of seeds so they seem a little bit bitter and maybe because all that um, bell pepper taste is packed into this one little bite so it may be a little too much bell peppery for me but these would be good for salads chopping them up and then we have this little cucumber um not as big as you know what it said but again i showed you some of my previous videos and my cucumber plant did not look good so i'm surprised it even produced fruit and then we have these little cherry tomatoes these are the yellow pear which I think are the best cherry tomatoes I've ever had thus far and these are just your regular uh, mini cherries and then over here are our shishito peppers so they have both the red and the green shishito peppers I've eaten a ton of these peppers and they're so good I actually prefer them to be smaller rather than larger uh, I just think that they taste a lot better than the really really big ones so that's why I harvested them at this size as well see how little they are 
Okay, over here are your Korean peppers, and these are snacking peppers. In the Asian culture, they usually stick these in lunch boxes for the kids, and the kids just snack on them. They're not spicy, but they do have like a green, green taste to them. Um, but these are really good. I like snacking on these when I'm eating my uh, traditional Korean dishes. And then these are the jalapeno peppers. So these are the Tam jalapeno peppers from Baker Creek. These are not as large as I thought they would be. And so, I don't know, it may just be that that's the brand, um, the way these seeds are. Uh, these are just on the smaller size, but I haven't tried them yet. So this will be my first time eating the jalapeno peppers. I'm gonna stick that in some soup. Um, so this, this is a pretty good little harvest for the third try, don't you think? Well, that was super fun. I always enjoy harvesting. I'm sure that many of you who garden also enjoy harvesting. And it just makes it all worth it in the end when you get to pull a cherry tomato off of your plant and snack on them. There's nothing better. So rewarding. Now, let's give you a quick update on the house. So, we were actually supposed to be moving in this weekend and that was the plan. And everything that we planned around this weekend had to be shifted back one more week. So um, the goal is to move into our new house next weekend. Uh, it was a huge disappointment, but in a lot of ways, it was a great blessing as well. And, um, and I am so anxious to get out of this little bitty house behind me and start that huge garden that I've been dreaming about for the last three months. And I, I think we'll probably be there in time to get everything ready for the fall garden. That's my hope anyway. Um, but. I will give you some video once we start moving in and you can see a little bit about what's going on and how we're going to be building the garden. That's the exciting part, I think. Um, but anyway, I hope you you know enjoyed hanging out with me today and watching me water my plants and harvest all the peppers and tomatoes and everything that I've got growing these containers. Um, I do have an opinion about container gardening thus far, so um, I can't say it's my favorite. In fact, I, I want to say it's the hardest uh, so far. Uh, I think the raised beds is a lot easier um, and there's a reason for that. The raised beds hold a lot more water because there's a lot more soil and space um, so it contains those nutrients in that water a lot longer. These containers, I'm constantly watering them, especially in this heat. You know, it's, it's in the high 90s with a heat index of like over uh, 100 and so it just takes a lot of watering um, a lot of feeding. I've fed these plants a lot more than I probably uh, should have, um, but certainly did it a lot more than you would normally feed a plant. Um, so they're hard work. The only advantage I've seen thus far with the container gardening is the fact that I get to move them around when I, a storm comes in and I can move them under shelter or if you know there's too much heat then I move them to the other side of the house. I mean that's nice, um, but it, it's hard work. And so I can't say that um, I really, want to be doing container gardening again unless I have to because sometimes you just have to right it's better than nothing I mean you saw the harvest much better than not doing it at all but if I have a choice that's not going to be the top of my list um, so anyway I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys um, for those of you that are new to my channel welcome and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell in case some other videos come up and you don't want to miss those and we will see you in the next video bye guys take care